Wow. Wow. Welcome to the 2020 Boys Goalie of the Year presentation here on Youth Hockey Hub. Last year's Goalie of the Year was Isaiah Paulnock from Eden Prairie PBAA. His team beat the number one team Chaska Chan, number three team Edina, and number two team Woodbury to win the state championship in successive days. This year's Nominees for the YHH Goal of the Year are Alex Beaton from Edina Squirt A, Cade Chapman from Rogers Bantam AA, Easton Cody from Centennial Pee AA, Ben Dardis from Matamidi High School, Zach Price, Osseo Maple Grove Pee AA, and Owen Stockman from Elk River Squirt A. This year's winner is Ben Dardis. Come on in, Ben. Congratulations on an outstanding season. It was a uh, quite well-earned well -earned award, just like Isaiah last year. Thank you. I'm honored. Uh, okay, Darty. Um, we had uh, a lot of great finalists for this year's award. Um, you kind of took the cake uh, with beating th three epic wins in the state tournament. Let's go through each game. Delano game, come a little closer. The, the Delano game was a tough one. You guys were down going into the third period. What's going through your brain at this point? Uh, just... Try to, my, for me, just try to keep the team in the game. Don't let Delano get another goal. You know, keep the game within reach. And it will, with five minutes left to go, one of our teammates scored and, and then scored again. And next thing you know, it's 5 2. And that's a good hockey team, Delano. And, and they've had a, a, a tough run with it. Um, so had Matamidi. They had never gotten past a third place championship. When you guys finally get to the semifinals and, and getting out of the semifinals, it was kind of like a, a barrier, like yeah. a ceiling you hasn't, hadn't got to. You get, a, you get a big lead on the number one team in the state, Slokinski, Chaga Bay. And what's your job in, when you guys get a 3-4 goal lead like you did? Uh, just make sure War doesn't come back in the game. You know, Just keep it 5-1 or 4-1 and then coast at the end. Uh, it, you'd seen Shaga Bay and Slukinski on film. What did, you, what did you know about them coming into the game? Uh, slukinski has got a good shot, and he's a strong skater. And then Shaga Bay has got good hands. Just watch out for him. Stay on him. Stay on him. All right. Now you get to play the big boy, Hermantown. Um, somewhat of a program that Montemita has modeled by playing uh, PBAA, BANMAA. You're trying to get to that level. And to get over the top against those guys is pretty difficult. You guys have a 2-1 lead for most of the game. Um, and now they score late in the game with 20 seconds left. What's going through your brain as as the team has, has just coughed up their lead late in the game like that? You know, just to force it to overtime. You know, there was only 20 seconds left. They applied a lot of pressure, and they could get one in. 20 seconds is still a decent amount of time. Then once they get in overtime, just don't let them score. Before we get to the overtime, what an exciting game! It was like you know, it was one of those 40 shot, 10 shot games. But their goaltender for Hermantown was outstanding. What do you think when you see this guy making breakaway save two on? one saves every time. I mean, it's tough not having a lot of shots and getting a lot of good opportunities. It's tough, and he made some really awesome saves. I thought so, too. So we get to overtime. Uh, they have all of the momentum at this point. Are you thinking that maybe maybe you're not really me it's not meant to be? I mean, yeah, for a little bit. But then I, we, had, we were close at one point in the overtime. It was really close. I mean, the other goalie kind of got banged up. So, I mean, I feel bad, but, like, may, maybe we could squeak one past. But uh, I see J.D. carry off the puck, center it out in front, and Haggy just put it in top shelf. What a great story for Haggy, who was injured a lot of the year. He wins the award and then gets to get the award handed to him by the Paradise Boys. Kind of a cool scene that that whole, you know, 30 minutes after the game was somewhat surreal. Real, I'm sure. Yeah, it was awesome. I'm happy for him. Broke his leg, was out for most of his senior season, came back and scored the overtime winning goal. All right, so you're a squirt now, uh, or a peewee in, in the Montemita system coming all the way up. Did you ever imagine winning the state title? And, and we, you know you weren't the MVP, but you're somewhat the unofficial MVP after that, after that performance against Hermantown. Did it ever cross your mind as a kid or cross your mind that you'd ever be s sitting in that situation? No, I mean, I was just hoping just to play in the state tournament because that's just an awesome Minnesotan thing. And just to win it was just unbelievable. All right, so... You have a coach, Poshel, who who is also a goalie himself. So, a lot of times you get just a regular coach who's like, "Yeah, goalie, go over here." But you have a goalie coach, a, co a coach who was a goalie. What was it like having him uh, coach you down in the last couple of years? Uh, it's been it's been awesome. He's been you know focusing on me a little bit, kind of giving me goalie drills to do, and just walking me through kind of the mental side of the game a little bit through the big lights in the state tournament and sections. It's helpful. He he had been there. He had played in that situation. Um, he's a, a, good, a, a 
coach, a goalie who turned into coach. Could you see yourself ever being a coach someday? Maybe. I mean, it could be a good career option. And coaching could be fun, especially with goalies. There's a lot of those goalies out there coaching these days. All right, so you had a successful run. Uh, a lot of people to thank who, who've got you there. A lot of people driven you to the rink, picked you up from the rink. Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank my mom, Amanda, and my dad, Joe. Uh, I'd like to thank my coaches, Jeff Poschel, Alex Rogoszewski, Matt Miskovich, and Tom Stralo. I'd also like to thank my teammates, all the fans, everyone who supported my to hockey. How about your brothers? Oh, yeah. I can't forget about them, Grant, Jack, and Neil. And then, interesting, because Grant and Jack are triplets. You grew up a tri you've been growing up your whole life a triplet. That's got to be a little bit different experience as well. Yeah, it is, especially with this uh, coronavirus quarantine thing, you know, just, I mean, it's good uh, brother bonding time, but, you know, we get sick of each other pretty quick. Well, it's it's been great getting to know you, Ben, and you've done a fantastic job in the Nets. you got two more years of high school. Maybe you can get back here once or, more, once or twice more. Oh, yeah. Ben Dardis, our YHH Boys Goalie of the Year.